What is up, boys and girls? Aoki here bringing you some Heimerdinger support. I don't even know if I can call this champion off meta at this point because after he got introduced as a support in Worlds, they literally played him in Worlds, I have been seeing him in like one and out of every five games, it feels like. Everyone is on the Donger train, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to absolutely 1v9 your character with, or 1v9 your games with this character because he is way, way over tuned. You can do some absolutely nutty things with this champion uh, and literally just 1v9 for the support position. Uh, so basically, the name of the game is that we're going to put down turrets, we're going to shove them under their turret, we're going to tilt their, their bot lane into doing something stupid, we're going to land a stun, and we're going to literally one shot them. Or we're going to shove up. We're gonna pull their jungler down here and we're gonna kill him because this champion cannot be ganked. Uh, but yeah, lots and lots of damage, lots of utility with stun and, and the ability to manipulate waves. And uh, he's got poke, got good synergy with comet, like literally everything you could want out of a support. This guy has it. Okay, well, it's like both ADCs are kind of just like trading their life bars away. Oh, I hit them both with that. So in certain matchups, you actually wanna be starting Q. Like, if I was against a melee support, I would for sure be, like, starting Q and then, like, shoving them in, pushing for level 2 and stuff. We're gonna look for a stun here. I'm just gonna drop the ignite, just, just, just to get some damage. Oh my god, she is completely out of the game. She's gonna have to pop all her potions and possibly go back. But yeah, we're in a, we're against a double range bot lane. So I think we're gonna play it a little bit differently. Nice dodge, actually. Ooh, two nice dodges. Okay, got to be a little careful with our mana consumption because we still don't have our turrets. Oh, nice poke. There we go, there we go. Well, someone is going to be dying in this bot lane very, very soon. I think it's one of those champions that, like, if you don't play him for a while, his, his mechanics kind of feel, like, a little strange. Not bad. Not bad. But yeah, well, like, let, let me warm up a little bit and I'll be landing these uh, multi-person cues and landing the stuns and everything. But they kind of got ahead of themselves there, didn't they? So we're going to put down a turret. We're going to be looking to shove this in, maybe get a plate here. Uh, Caitlyn, you need to leave, bro. Oh my god, there we go. And another beautiful thing about Heimerdinger is that this champion literally is full build when you get your mythic. So we're going to be going Leandries into Rylai's just because that is the most obnoxious possible build you can go on this champ. And that's the name of the game with this champ, is just being freaking obnoxious. Uh, so we're gonna go Boots, we're gonna grab Amp Tome. Actually, oh, we actually can't sell it because our turret did damage to them. That's all right. Boots and Amp Tome is goodbye. Well, let me show you guys some truly secret Heimerdinger tech. And I'm, I'm hey, let's, let's make a deal. If you didn't know this, before you have to subscribe to the channel you have to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you didn't know this all right watch this this is the this is the most secret heimerdinger tech i can bestow upon you if you press Control five you change his walk cycle you bust out the swag walk then you can go back to skipping swag walk skipping swag walk and what separates good heimerdinger support players from great heimerdinger support players is knowing when to bust out the swag walk trust me Get some free damage. Always ping the ward that they put down because you get gold for it now for some reason. Um, I mean, this is going to push into us. I think I think we kind of want to push him back. Oh, landed the stun. The turret's ticking away at him. And look at that, bro. Do you, like, does Jin, do you think Jin feels outplayed there, guys? Do you think, do you think he's happy about that trade? We'll just flash out of this. Not too bad, not too bad. If we were a little closer to our turret, I would have just like held my ground, dropped turrets, and like started spamming them. But I think it's better to just flash out there. Need to prep these minions for our Caitlyn. Should be able to get the rest of these, right? All right. Not bad. Yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments. Do you guys like playing Heimerdinger? I, I, I like it for, like, the psychological aspect, honestly. Nobody likes playing against this champion. Like, literally nobody. He has to be one of the, like, most hated, least fun to play against champions. He's like, I don't, I don't know. He's like Yumi plus Malzahar plus, I, I don't know, kidney stones. 
<laughs> like, MF wanted to lock her champion in so that she could be annoying, but she had no idea she was about to be against the king of annoying champs. Throw my turrets down. They're just helping me get the uh, turret plates. Thank you. Bounce there. I don't really want to go back yet. I want to go back when I have a bigger buy. Okay. Oh. Boink. All right. When Caitlyn comes back, we have a pretty good AD advantage here. So we should be able to just all in. It's unfortunate they got the first gank. So now I have to play like slightly safer just because they uh. Uh oh. Okay, nice. They might have been able to pressure me there. I, the, the, another nice thing about Heimerdinger is that like if they go for an all in, if you play this champion correctly, you will almost always be trading a one for one. Like at, he, he's kind of like Brand in that in that regard. If Bran is ever caught, just slam your fingers on the keyboard and use all your spells, and you're probably taking someone down with you. An enemy has been slain. All right. Mr. Stun, we're kind of out of mana here. Um, Jungler's kind of just playing topside. And then once we get our level six, we have some really, really good options for anti-gank or, you know, you use the stun for the, or you use the ult stun, pretty much secures a kill. Goodbye. Sorry, bro. You tried, you tried to play the game against a Heimerdinger. No, I should have kept running. Maybe I could have lived. It's all right, though. Like I said. Whenever you die as Heimerdinger, you're taking down at least one of them with you. And we've got our ulti now. So if we land a stun, here's what we want to do. If we if we just straight up land a stun like this, we want to ult W. If we're getting ganked, we want to stun and then ult turret. And if we are trying to like set up an offensive play, that's when you ult E. <laughs> ult E, like ulti. Oh. Rip. Should have him though, nice. I like our late game. We've got we're, we're kind of we're kind of heavy AP, but we're gonna hit the dragon so it aggro's them. Oh, we're actually trying to do it. I think we could stop this. Oh yeah, they they cannot do this. No 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 no. You guys better pull off that. Uh, we'll take the control word here. Ah, so close. Actually? Wait. Oh, man. That's not bad. We got, we got his flash and we still tagged him with that with that E, so. Let's get that's get that's getting a little sus over there, boys. Hey, sniped him, baby. Here we go. Is everybody out? Well, everyone's out that's gonna get out. And now we just play for plates. Oh, landed a stun combo. Look at this, bro. Look at this. This is so obnoxious to play against, guys. I, I am just like, I, I know I'm in their head right now. None of them are having fun. Yo, she started anti-heal. Interesting. Yeah, I really think the Jaime's another one of those champions that like, you don't want to hold on to your stun, like waiting for, or hold on to your ult, waiting for the perfect ult. Just use it. You know what I mean? Just, just, just use it. Ah, my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Where did her health bar go? Where did it go? Yeah, cause like, look, my ulti's already up again. Ten seconds. Just use it. Might be using it here on MF. Oops. Took some turret shots. I I whiffed it, guys. My god. 
Well, that was terrifying. Yeah, I whiffed my alt W there, unfortunately. I didn't think that the Caitlyn would kill the EMF. It's not bad, though. Not too bad. Uh, I've got my entire Leandris when I go back. Gonna yoink these CS because she's gonna miss them anyways. Look how far away you can stop. Oh, I didn't stop his back! Wait, it, it spooked him though, so it did actually stop his back. <laughs> Alright, now let's go back. Let's get our Leandris. We're gonna be good. Oh, yeah, by the way, guys, full runes. We got Arcane Comet, Mana Flow Band, Absolute Focus, Scorch, Taste of Blood, Treasure Hunter, AP, AP Armor. Uh, we are, like I said, you definitely pretty much feel like you're already full build when you get your Landry's. It's really tempting to sometimes want to go for like roams or like maybe roam up, you know, just do like normal support stuff. But I really think it's like you get so much more value out of just like pushing in your bot lane. Like constantly, like get every single plate, kill the bot lane a couple times. And we, we, we might be able to roam through this though, just because MF's roaming. Uh oh. Run, Shaco. Run, Shaco. Get him, turret. Uh, are we doing this? I don't I don't know about this one boys. I guess we do it relatively fast What a what a beautiful stun there boys what a beautiful stun we saved oh my god I think we hit both of them with that stun beautiful beautiful I need to remember to like spread out my W. Like I, I need to shoot it a little bit closer to me. I'm going for like these like sniper shots, which is good because it does a little bit more damage. But we get so much value out of just like Comet and Scorch. So just like hitting them with one W is good. So I'm gonna be start I'm gonna start doing like more scatter shots like that. It's like tagging everybody. Yeah, see. Let's make sure we land something of it. Um, I could see us getting ganked here. We got casted and roaming around in their jungle, though. Boink. Uh, not sure what we're doing over here. They were looking to like aggress on that Cassidy though, which kind of makes me think that Nocturne's on bot side. I could be wrong though. Mm, yeah, it's not even worth flashing. It's fine. I should have played a little bit safer until I had my alt turret, and then maybe we could have taken Nocturne down with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Needed to play a little bit, guys. You need to activate our brain a little bit when you play this champ. Just, a, just a little bit. It was my bad. I, I even knew he was down here. I just chose to not respect it. Everyone Could have been going after plates. Yeah, I mean, true. She's not wrong. Oh, they get the turret. Wait, I can save the turret. I can save the turret, I think. It's going to be close. Get off my turret. Nope. I, my legs are just too small, guys. I got little legs. Should use our Caitlyn ult there. Keep her in lane, do some free damage. Nocturne's top. Ult, please. Oh, it's not gonna kill. Oh, it does kill though. Nice. I'll take a turret. Oh my god, I almost griefed. I almost griefed. 
We got the MF though. We got the MF. We're just gonna have to consider that a dub in its own, guys. And now we start building Rylies. Let's go. We'll get this bot turret here very soon. Oh, they're like, dude, they're, they're doing work on the other side of the map. Let's go, team. Play for this. It's going to be impossible for them to play for objectives. They have to dive into us with like Gnosis and Nocturne. Zonia should be a good second item here too, but I really want the Rylize. Mm. We should really be like swapping me and Caitlyn to top lane, but we're kind of in like this awkward place where it's like, I want to finish this turret. Caitlyn, uh, I go mid here. Our, our, our macro is kind of whack this game. It's, it's whackro. Okay. All right, we got the turret. Uh, Caitlyn's probably about to get Nocturne ulted. Or just Nocturned in general. He might go for his Gromp here. You should just let, let him go for his Gromp and then kill him. Um, it's not going to go for it. Maybe when they walk through here. They have, they have to come through for, for dragon. So we just we, we just push this wave. Go for dragon, go for dragon. Gotta remember that Nocturne's pretty fed and he's like tank, so gotta play around that. Uh this is such a bad idea, bro. I have no idea why he did that, bro. I have no idea why he did that. I almost killed the Nocturne, but yeah, we obviously, we, we just play for the Dragon there. Play for Dragon, not for Gromp. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that uh, Dragon's a little more important than Gromp. It's okay though, it's okay. Uh, yeah, she won't be able to stop that. That's just gone. Dude, what are we doing? We're like, I don't, we're playing this game so wrong. Listen to Jaime. Jaime's a big brain character, guys. Uh, probably can't get that Rift Herald before it disappears. Okay, Cassidy, calm down, bro. Relax. All right, we see Miles mid. Nocturne's like on his red right now. Yeah, I don't know where he thinks, uh, I don't know where he wants me to go, but this disappears in 15 seconds. Maybe we can do this. It's gonna be close, it's gonna be close, oh my God. Oh my god. Nice! We got it with like literally one second left. Is that going mid? It sure is. I got an assist somehow. The whiffs. Wait, they ghosted? Not says ghosted there. Okay. Now, is ghosted and MF just has like a fast passive. Hmm, Alright, we got our tier 2 ult. Oh. We're going. Get him, turrets. Get him, Shelly. Back Jen. I got Malzar's spell shield. All right, we go back. I've almost got my Rylice. I need like one thing. I need like a wolf.
Oh boy. Ah! Oh no. Oh no. Run, Jaime. Run, Jaime. Alright, we already got their turret. We're fine. We good. There's uh, there's no objective to lose here, so it's fine that he died. We chillin', boys. We chillin'. Got our Rylize now, so now we are doubly annoying. Uh, we got Cassid and Scaling. See, it's level 16. The game's pretty much over. Kind of lost vision of him over here, though. I mean, honestly, it's always an option to do Baron when you have a Heimerdinger. Yo. That skill is like so nice to get a kill with. Like it feels so good. Oh. Okay, it's it's Baron. It's Baron. It's Baron. Nocturne's bot, anyways. It's Baron. Watch how fast we do this, guys. Watch how fast we do the Baron. It's literally gonna be like a like a 10 second Baron or less. <laughs> Jaime Dinger, baby! All right, now we'll go Zonia's just so we have like a little bit of self-preservation. No. Uh, got a dragon in 15 seconds. Entropy, a never ending cycle. Well, their jungler hasn't reset, but our ADC is split pushing top, so who knows who gets this dragon? <laughs> he doesn't even know what to do, boys. The literal one shot on their top laner from the support, Jaime. You love to see it. If anyone ever face check, that's why, that's why Jaime is so much better against like melee champions. It's been like a little bit of like an awkward laning phase because we're against double range, but. If you're, if you're ever against melees that have to walk into you and play through your turrets, it's so much easier. Like they have to set, set, face check into bushes and... Ah, the sweet smell of science. <laughs> Alright, free dragon. Free jiggle. Oh man, that nocturne is tanky. Yeah, tanky boy. We're not really using our Baron super well, but... Wait. Bro? Nice. Oh, uh, we gotta get the wave. We, we can get some pushing done with this wave. Might be able to take this wave to, uh, to inhib. Oh yeah, th this is where Jaime wants to be, guys. In a big empowered wave with big empowered turrets. Yes, yes, hurry. I have important work to get back to. Bro, what a, what a meme character this is, though. Alright. That's no, not gonna be on us. There's no way he wants to alt into me. At this point, I'm I'm pretty invincible. I'm just gonna stop. Watch that. Um. Well, they actually deleted our wave a little faster than I thought they would. We can take a reset here, though. Use the Baron Empowered Recall before it wears out. Pretty nice. We go that. Uh, we're about 450 off Zonia's. All right, I think we should just push mid now. Oh, Vlad kills this gen for sure. Bye-bye. 
That looked fun. Oh! I couldn't get my stun off. If I got the stun off, I would have lived there, man. Oh my god. Big rip. I didn't expect I didn't expect them to just go on me there though, to be honest. Should group five mid. <clears throat> man, this is such a tanky nocturne build though. Wow. Oh. Cast it and gone. Oh. Malzahar gone. Oh. Shaco gone. We're dropping like flies. Yo, Caitlyn, you need the group, bro. Every problem solved is another reveal. With me. I me shall protect you. Just play for another Baron. Yep, she's gone. Wonderfully efficient. Enemy killing spree. Yeah, we're just like macro wise, we're just giving Nocturne like too many freebies. Hmm, it's smaller than the diagram. They're like not grouping, you know. Definitely down to just like control the Baron Pit. We need to, we need to play to like the strengths of our champions, not to the strengths of theirs. Uh, bro, he's so he's so fast. What what is that ghost movement speed, man? Guys, I promise, just come to the Baron. Come to the Baron, seriously. We 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 melt it. We melt it. I, I don't know why people like making games like 10 times harder than they need to be. Who is Baron Speed though? Oh, what was that? Six second Baron? Um, It's a little rough to walk into Dragon like this. We're going to be fighting a 4v5. We might just have to give it. I think we just give it. Ah, oh boy, they're not gonna give, so I have to go with them. I mean, I don't have my ult. This is so bad. This is so stupid. Okay. Okay. Please? Leandries, please? Oh my god. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh my god. See, that's what we need to do. We need to make them play into us. We're diving into them for no reason. Whew. All right. Like, that worked so much better. Like, do you see, like, making them walk at us is, like, so much better for Jaime than diving? Uh, we'll get some anti-heal. We get a free dragon. Not, well, not free, but we worked hard for that dragon, actually. By mid. I'll be fuddling. Yeah. Pew! Yeah, we can end the game here. We can just make them fight us on these waves. I want to get that guy's uh, spell shield. Ah. Oh my god. Dude, he just keeps diving into them. It's so goofy.
I don't think we should siege without all five of us. Just walk with the waves and play in my turrets, okay? This is our second Baron that we're pretty much not going to get to use now. They might fight us just because it's 4v5. Ah, the sweet smell of science. Yep. Man, we actually can't even push. Even though they have no inhib. We're, bro, we're playing our macro like so incorrect this game. It's crazy. It pains me. The plan might be to just play for soul at this point. Like make them fight into soul. Got my tier 3 ult though, that's pretty nice. Yeah, Ma Malzar is just wave clearing as fast as we can push. Got a spell shield. Dude. If I wasn't silenced there, I ult W him and literally kill him. Unfortunately, I already got my ult off so I have to use it. Dude, I'm just getting silenced. We're just not playing with Jaime, bro. What are we doing? Okay. Okay, we got the Nocturne. Not bad. Okay. Okay, at least get this. Oh. I think I think I just realized the problem. We have three hyper carry solo queue players. Like Cassidy, Shaco, Vlad are all just like CC less, pretty much like hyper carry one v nine champs, and they all want to like make big plays. Like they all want to play that. Like they don't want to play with waves. They don't want to play for objectives. They just like they just want to dive, 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 dive. So I guess we just embrace that. Maybe maybe we play dive diver dinger, Heimer, Heimer diver. We got the inhib though. So that, that, that'll help that'll help us get our third third baron. Alright, we're gonna Here are camps. I want blue, I want blue, I want blue, I want blue. You can have Gromp. Uh we just do this on spawn again. We can maybe go kill Gnosis. Wait, this guy's trolling. Nice. Probably didn't need the ulti there. Not taking any risks though. And our jungler dies. You see what I mean? Like they're they're just all like trying to make their own plays. Oh, you got a spell shield. Oh, okay. Okay, we got Nocturne. We got Nocturne. Huge. We can do Baron. We can do Baron without him. Oh, big pickup. Big pickup. I have ulti in five seconds. We can end, actually. We can end. Get me out of this one, boys. Get me out of this one. We have so many options. We have Soul. We have End. We have Baron. I mean, the safe pick is to just go Soul. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to play into this. Oh, Caitlyn got a kill. Okay, 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 okay. Vlad's getting a soul. Cassidy just died to a trap. <laughs> All right, I'm soloing Baron. I'm soloing Baron. You said in case this goes south, let's secure a soul. You know what? I've ragged on this guy quite a bit, but I think Vladimir actually does have a brain. There we go. Give Infernal Soul. 
We're getting barren. And we go. I'm pretty sure I could have soloed that, by the way. Uh, we're going to go Morello's into that. Well, that's full build. Morello's into Elixir. Little Elixir of Sorcery. All right. All right. All right. Okay, guys. Okay. Let's put on our thinking caps here. What a stressful game this turned out to be. I'm not saying I played it perfectly, but I think all things considered, pretty, pretty good. I mean, we're 9, 5, and 11 as support. Done like five and five and a half thousand damage with our mythic alone. Doctrine's dead. Shove this in. Ah. Uh. Dead. Let's go. That should be game. That should be game. It's 5v1 with Baron with Soul. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Nice little Alt W into uh Zonia's. Yep. Woo! There's the FF. That game ended up being a lot harder than I thought it ever would be, guys. So let's take a look at this damage chart, because that's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. We made a couple whoopsies, but it's been a while since we played um since we've played Heimerdinger. And look at, okay, damage charts looking pretty nice. We did 35k, second most on our team, and almost 40 minute game. So, of course, Vladimir's going to out damage us. But only person that out damage us on their team is Malzahar. So, if you guys watch this on YouTube, let me know what you guys think of the build and strat down in the comments, boys. Take it easy. Peace out.